Hello everyone, it's Alshas. I'm happy that you're watching my video and uh, today I'm going to show you another way how to recover your phone or install some firmwares from the some, uh, you know, from Samsung directly. So what you'll have to do, you will have to use a smart switch, this application, uh, this official Samsung application, but uh, uh, unfortunately it doesn't support uh, all the devices of Samsung on the, the latest ones. So um, what you have to do, you have to first download this application. So let's head into Google Chrome, our browser, and just you have to put smart, uh, Samsung Smart Switch. And then uh, just right away when you put, you just click for Smart Switch. And then you will be uh, directed to the Samsung website. Once you just enter the website and you can see that uh, it shows some description of this application and it also offers application only not only for device itself but also for iOS um, and Blackberry and also you can see that you can download for PC and both uh, Mac and PC and, um, and but as I told you it has very small disadvantage that not all the devices are supported, only the new ones. So uh, what, what we have to do, we in this case, uh, I will download the um, version for PC. And anyway, since I got it, so I'll just skip this uh, moment because it's very uh, easy. And then let's uh, open this application. And uh, it, 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 in fact, it, it gives you very, very a lot of things to do. Uh, for, for example, just to back up your phone, which backups all the contacts in the phone calls, messages, uh, photos, and uh, uh, files, all the other stuff. So uh, let's just try on the one of my um, oldest device, Galaxy S4. Okay, so I just plugged in and you can see that it's connected by the way you must use the original samsung cable because if you will use some uh, third, third party um, cables so definitely this one will not work so okay let's see what it showed uh yeah it found that we have a okay so uh, one smart switch is uh, the application is open so we just head into more and then we click for emergency software recovery installation okay let's wait a little bit and then we device click device installation and here we will have to put the information of our device since it doesn't boot up you see the device will not boot up so we'll have to to put all the information so um, in this case uh, we have to put the model name and you have to put directly uh, uh, first of all so I will show you the, the best way how to find out the model name so uh, once you put out your battery <clears throat> of course you can find this on your uh, box uh, and um, you can see that the model is uh, GT dash I9505 and you put this information in the field with the name model name so let's put in okay and uh, I remind you that the very very important to put all the letters uh, as it you know written officially on the model name so in this case this is uh, caps locked uh, GT then dash then I9505 uh, and then we proceed with the OK. Oh, well, uh, first, sorry, it's search. And once it's found, and if you don't get any error, uh, you know, message, so that's good. The, the information is clear. Also, you, you put your serial number and you can find it as well on the back side of your device. And uh, for example, error. Let's just put in and it will be mm -hmm. okay. One day, very good. Mm -hmm. Okay, and once you're finished, so you just click OK. And now I'm gonna show you what you have to do with your device. So, uh, well, let's 
just uh, put everything inside and uh, okay and then what we do next we just restore our device and uh, i mean uh, we have to boot in into recovery download mode so for this you will have to use the volume down volume down then pressing me, me you know at the same time pressing volume down home button and the power button so i will just do that very quickly okay now you heard the vibration so that's good and uh, in order to proceed you will have to add, uh, press continuum or you can you know just one down which will cancel restart the phone so we just click one app and that's a download mode and then what we'll have to do next uh, after clicking ok we'll have to connect our device and so okay i just clicked on it and once it's connected so you will be able to just click ok and all information all the uh, software information will be downloaded directly to your phone and it will just uh, reinstall your device and you will be able to use it without any problem so let's do it okay so once you put in the model name and uh, just in my just a reminder that you will have to put all the caps uh, uh, lock uh, letters and the serial number so you just click ok and this is the second phone that i am showing you because this is the phone that uh, has um mm, you know it's legit because it you can use that because it's a newer device so you just click ok and once ok so the device can be initialized to its original settings. All uh, settings and data will be deleted and the latest software which version will be installed. Do you want to proceed with the software update and installation? Installation. So just click OK. <clears throat> OK, and we see that now in the latest version, all settings will be initialized and installed will be permanently deleted. Do you want to proceed? so then you just click ok and then you plug in your phone so once you just click that you will uh, just connect your phone and everything will be you know installed and you will recover your phone okay so it's booting up and uh, we'll see the new system just booting up show some signs of life and if your device is not you know uh, boot loop uh, of course it will take a lot of time so we'll just okay after some time so well it's uh, it's working but uh, the sim card is locked so i will have to put in my information and uh, just uh, just i will put that and you will see that device is working fully working okay after some time so well it's uh, it's working but uh, the sim card is locked so i will have to put in my information and uh, just uh, just i will put that and you will see that device is working fully working yeah. okay so i just got into and i see that my device is really working without any problem and it was just uh, just done in a very well way and uh, as you can see the, this application is really quick really fast and it's uh, but uh, just uh, for your information not the, all devices work with the smart switch so this is for your information anyway <clears throat> i can show you some more ways uh, uh, how this device um, you know is working and what's it's doing um, <clears throat> so this application also uh, helps you to make a backup, a restore, also Outlook Sense, uh, it has some this kind of features, so also we can do a backup and in this case we will see that it's uh, backing up all the list, all the files, contacts and all the, all the other things which is really useful, helpful and it's very fast.
compared with the uh, different other uh, backup tools and uh, of course it's official one which is really great to hear from the Samsung so the process they will not take so long it's really fast and uh, backing up contacts it's already on the third percent so I can assure you that this is a really interesting application so well um, so well thank you for watching and I hope that uh, this will help you and uh, in case your device is just um, not working so it, it will definitely help you so stay tuned and thanks for watching if you like video just click like and also share for media and subscribe for my channel and I just I can ensure you that I will put all the interesting information and um, so as well you can see that it's already already finishing and which is really really fast and um, so <clears throat> thank you for watching and uh, have a nice day yeah bye okay i was really you know engaged just to show you that the device was successfully booked up and uh, this uh, this what you get the message after you just uh, finishing your boot up and you can see the contacts how many contacts it was uh, booked up messages call logs images music documents ringtone applications email wallpaper wi-fi other settings alarm even alarm okay that's 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 amazing and uh, so the following categories has been excluded because there is no data on the data on the device which is s planner s note videos and lock screen okay that's great so you just proceed with a clicking okay and also you can restore your device and you can for example uh restore now and uh, you'll be putting all the information so once again thank you for watching and <laughs> bye